Hey everybody, Zach Brennan is 92 here. Back with a video for you guys. This is going to be for my update on my Wii slash Wii U game collection, part 2. First game is Just Dance 4, the Nintendo Wii, of course. If you guys seen this one pop game quite some time ago, actually I think a year ago now. For most of you actually know me, I usually kind of play games pretty often. But this one I did not, because my family loves this game, so I usually keep it. And I do like the Just Dance series, I'm so glad I got the newest one. But yep, that's my first game I'm going to show. I'm going to show my Wii game collection first, and then the Wii U. So, next up is probably one of my favorite Wii game collections I have. It's a very small Wii collection. I'm just telling you that now. It is Kirby's Dream Collection Special Edition. It's probably my favorite Wii game collection. Well, any game collection I've ever owned. It is such a good collection. I really love this. I wish they did this for Mario 25th anniversary instead of the All-Stars, which was good. But it needed Super Mario 64 and probably, I think, Sunshine. But, oh well. It was a good collection. It was actually what was inside, so now I'm going to take it out. It's going to take too long. I don't have too much time on this camera right now. But, next up is my favorite Wii game in history. It is Super Mario Galaxy 2. How could you not love the Mario Galaxy series? The Galaxy, the, gra the fine gravity doesn't really hurt my, like, you know, head. It doesn't it make me dizzy or anything like that. I'm totally used to it. I don't really get, you know, that kind of feeling very often. That's why I love the 3DS. A lot of people think the 3D kind of gives them headaches, but it doesn't bother me at all. But, let's check the inside. There is the awesome looking Mario head disc and a full length color booklet. They need to start doing this again. I love booklets and manuals. It's so worthwhile buying the game as well. Manual. Last but not least, Super Smash Brothers Brawl. You can't have a Wii without this game. It is probably one of the most anticipated and probably the best Wii game, well, multi multiplayer game on the Wii itself. Actually, I think it is the best. But it is such a good game. It's been out for quite some time. Now I'm looking forward to the Wii U version. I'm going to get probably both versions to do the unboxing. With another full length colored stick manual, which I love. Oh, so here's my Wii collection. It's not big, like I said. I've been kind of running out of Wii games because, yeah, I kind of got rid of them to get more games for Wii U. But, anyway. next, first off for the Wii U version of games is Batman Arkham City Armored Edition. And yes, I really want Arkham Origins for the Wii U, but they didn't have any in my stores at all. The only one they had at my game store, they only had one copy and someone bought it. Oh, maybe I should open it. But still, really excited that I have this game. It's such a good addition to the Batman and Arkham games. Even though it has to be extremely thin, seriously, that's all you get. But it still comes with some manual, so I'm glad about that. Next up, Gaming Wario. Such a great multiplayer game. It's probably one of my favorites so far, other than Wii Party U. I'm probably going to get some other time later this year. But, this game is totally underrated. It's a great, great game. Single and multi. Even though it doesn't have the biggest list of games, they could always put DLC out if they wanted to. Who the code's already been used, so they can't really take that. So, it doesn't really matter. No manual at all. Disappointing like crazy. But still comes with some ads, so that's not too bad, I guess. Next up is Sonic and All Stars Racing Transform for Wii U Bones Edition. This was actually considered my first bought Wii U game, so I'm excited for this. Was excited for this, and it still is one of my favorite racing games. It has some lag, but no no game of this kind of series is perfect of racing, so comes with a manual. It's surprisingly thicker than it looks. comes with like how controls are and all that kind of stuff for Wii U version. But, yeah, still cool. Still a good game. Still worth it. It was only $40, so it was a really good deal. Next up is Ben 10 Omniverse for Wii U. Everyone has seen this on my channel several times by now. I love the Ben 10 series, and it's finally back on TV after months of waiting. 
I was actually about to give up on the series because it was kind of waiting too long. But once I started it, I'm back in it again. And I'm, I have had this game since, of course, last year. So it's almost been a year since I've bought this game. I haven't played it in a while, but it's totally a fun game. Next up is, everybody knows this game by now, New Super Mario Bros. U for Wii U, of course. Comes with actually a colored manual. It's pretty nice. Extremely fun. Pretty easy, though, to beat. Like, it was kind of really sad how easy it was. But it was still a fun game, so I can't really complain at all. Awesome looking disc and awesome looking manual. Colored and everything. You need it a little bit thicker, but this is still sweet. Next up is, everyone's seen this on my, well, channel at least once, at least. New Super Luigi U for Luigi's 30th anniversary. The DLC. It's for DLC for New Super Mario Bros. U, but it's definitely the better version of it. Other than the controls are Luigi are slightly hard, but of course you can't really complain because it's supposed to have the same controls as New uh, Super Mario Bros. 2. So it's not really a bad thing. And being out of it, it's really fun, actually. The stages are twice as hard, twice as fun. It makes it fun to play. And here is the disc for it. And no manual, sadly. Don't think so, anyway. Nope, no manual. But, it was only a DLC, so there's not really supposed to be a manual with it. But, this version I totally wanted more. Next up is, of course, you just seen it, Nintendo Land. Definitely one of my all-time favorites for the Nintendo Wii U. Came with a system, of course. It is extremely fun. I love all the minigames on it. They could have at least put Pokemon and Kirby in it. Kind of disappointing on that part. But it's still such a great, great multiplayer. Even though I've, I've almost had it for a year. And I will be making the one-year anniversary video for Wii U soon. I could do it with 3DS. And I really am glad that it came, came with a manual. But it wasn't like anything fancy. It was nice. But it wasn't like the best. But I'm so glad that I got this game, though. It is amazing. Next up is... I'm almost done, guys. Pikmin 3 for Wii U. One of the best graphically looking games on the system itself, other than, of course, Sonic Lost World, which just released. I love this game. I have beaten it. It was extremely fun. It was pretty quick to beat. Actually, no, it was hard. The last boss was annoying, but it was fun. Can't really complain at all. I'm running out of time, guys, so I'm going to have to sh shorten this video a little bit, or quicken it. Comes with an awesome looking cover manual. And it looks color, 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 color. I love it. I'm obsessed with manuals, just like a lot of people on YouTube. It's not surprising. Next up is definitely one of the best games of the series. Of the series is The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD with a holographic case. Sweet looking. Second Wii U game now that has that. Like, you know, holographic case. Very fantastic game. I've almost completed the game. It is so much fun. It's been so long since I played Wind Waker, and I love the game. Here's the disc. The most disappointing thing about this, though, no manual. At all. Uh, still glad that I got it. Next up is, not just recently I got it, Mar Lego Marvel Super Heroes for the Wii U. I'm not going to open it, because you've already seen it in my unboxing just recently. But it's a huge case. Anyway. Next up, as you just seen this in a video, two videos beforehand, Just Dance 2014. I haven't played it yet, because I'm actually still making videos. This is probably my last one for the day. But, here is the inside. And it does come with a manual, so that's, like, very fantastic. Extremely excited about having it, having a manual, even though it doesn't show much. Next up is, last but not least, Sonic Lost World, the bonus Deadly Six Edition. Holographic looking case. This actually looks a lot clearer, so if you guys couldn't see the case clearly in my unboxing for it, you definitely could see it better in this. A lot better. But boy, this game looks amazing, and critics are hating on this game for it being hard and too slow, but I've seen how people can play this game. It looks amazing. They just didn't get it. Sonic Lost World's disc. 
in Sonic Lost World's manual. And it actually comes with stuff inside. So that's extremely exciting. Well, maybe I should put this back in there. Do that. Okay. Well, that's it for this video. Guys, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Here are all my games. But tell me, guys, what you think of my collection so far below. And tell me what you guys have for Wii U or Wii collections. And tell me, like, which one you like best of your collection. That's it for this video. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. See you guys later. And God bless.